BJ isn't, uh, he doesn't come out of the first game fully unscathed. He, there was a big blast at the end. People weren't sure if he was going to survive or not. Yeah. He obviously survived. Yeah. But at the beginning of uh, the new Colossus, he's a little bloodied, he's a little bruised, but he's never bowed by it. And we start off the game uh, with a wheelchair combat sequence. I want to talk to you first about how you made wheelchair combat so fun, and then how it really captures the spirit of BJ. I, I think uh, I think the key for us was to allowing the player that just basically the same freedom as when you are on your feet, so you can basically have full movement even though you're in the wheelchair. Uh, and I think that's what, at least to me, is what makes it so fun. Yeah, it's super intuitive. It it uh, you control it. It's, it feels organic, like the same way you would control your normal movement in a, in a shooter. And I love that aspect of BJ's personality as well, because he is essentially totally physically broken at this point, but there's nothing that will stand in his way of killing Nazis. So he's, he's a badass no matter what. He's bruised, he's beaten, he's blown to bits, but he can still get out there and kick Nazi ass. And he, that's... Yeah, he gets things done. Right. You know, as long as there are Nazis in the world, BJ will keep busy. 